Hello guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about feminine energy, self-improvement topics, manifestation, relationship. In today's video, I'm going to talk about use the combination of your light feminine energy and dark feminine energy to get what you want or to manifest or create the reality that you want. Let's dive in. Before that, give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. We have a fem female self-care planner. If you're interested, it's a PDF download. The link is in description. We also have the uh, feminine energy and masculine energy short mini course if you're interested in knowing about these energies and how you can use them the links are in description anyways so let's talk about how you can use the combination of the light feminine energy and dark feminine energy to manifest or create the reality that you want first i've already made a lot of the videos talking about the light and dark feminine energy you can very well check out the feminine energy playlist on my on my channel and you can learn more about it so i'm not gonna deep dive into these energies in detail i'll just gonna cover the basic and then i'll gonna to, to deep dive into how you can use them to manifest light feminine energy is very light more calm more relaxed more sit back more peaceful energy more chilling kind of the energy more relaxing and all that stuff the dark feminine energy is dark as the name suggests is dark it's very bold it's very confident it's setting the boundaries knowing their intentions and striving and working towards the goals that kind of energy so you can use these two energies in their combination to get what you want first you know what you want obviously you know what you want so when you know what you want you already asked for what is given you already asked for what you want and in that moment it's already been given to you now the main thing is not about asking the main thing is that it's gonna take you to manifest in the time when you ask and when it's given like that's the time in that time period what are you gonna do that's where you're going to use these two energies together so when it's come time to take an action you're going to take an action you're going to be strong bold confident which is the power of the dark feminine energy and you use that dark feminine energy for that thing but when it's time to relax more sit back more peaceful more calm you're going to use the light feminine energy because i've seen come across in my own manifestation journey now everybody's manifestation journey is different their own experience is different in fact everything that you manifest is also very different the manifesting money is different manifesting relationship is different manifesting job is different because every process is different it's more natural it's perfect it's totally unpredictable it's totally uncertain you can't know exactly every single detail of the manifestation process or journey but you can use both these energies because sometimes you do need to take an action in your manifestation journey that's the inspired action that you feel like you need to take an action you have to be stubborn you have to be persistent in what you want because sometimes in fact, not sometimes, almost all the times, the reality is totally opposite of what you want. It's not showcasing you what you would like to see. It shows that it's totally opposite of what you want. And then you started doubting, you started questioning yourself, you're feeling bad that it's not happening. Is it happening or not? Is it going to happen? When it's going to happen? How it's going to look like? You started thinking about that. At that time, the dark feminine energy can come into the picture and can put you in the right mindset by being just turban on your goals, by being arrogant by being actually persistent in what you want regardless of what's happening in the 3d regardless of what someone else has told you it doesn't really matter at that time you can use the dark feminine energy in your favor to be bold to be confident enough to be stubborn to be arrogant enough to be like to be like a very very uh, persistent person in what you want and while you are persisting sometimes you may get tired because you're persisting you're reforming you're using some technique or strategy method whatever you may get tired so at that time you can use a light feminine energy in your favor to more sit back more relaxed more calm more peace so i feel like these two energies is really really crucial in manifestation of course people talk a lot talk a lot about the light feminine energy in terms of sitting back more relaxed more chill more peaceful having fun that's a light feminine energy and that's the kind of the energy it's helpful to manifest what you want it's the kind of the alignment energy but sometimes like we are not always in the good mood right we are all not always in the fun mood we are not always in the uh chill back or relax or calmness mood okay it's normal we are human beings we are not like a box of energy that we only gonna be in one box of energy no we have a different moods different thinking different thoughts different feelings different emotions some days you feel more calm more relaxed you can use the light feminine energy but other times you are having doubts you're feeling more fearful you are 
not feeling good because you think that the 3d is like totally opposite to what you want at that time you can use a dark stubborn sorry at that time you can use a dark feminine energy to be stubborn to be arrogant to be persistent in what you want and to set the clear cut boundaries and understanding this is what i want and i'm gonna get what i want because i always get what i want because that's how the law works nobody is exception to that so i am not an exception to that i'm gonna get what i want even if i'm not seeing the results right now even if the opposite things are happening in the 3d i do not care because i know what i want is coming and it's gonna happen because it's already being done it's coming in the tree that's where you can use the dark feminine energy i hope it makes sense why i'm putting these two energies together to help you get what you want because alignment is the kind of the process is a journey in the manifestation it's easy to ask but when you're going to receive the time taken in between these two things is the time it's very very crucial is the time it depends what you're going to choose what you're going to decide who you're going to be and that determines a lot about your manifestation some people give up because it's too hard they see the opposite results and right before they give up is the time if they person a little bit longer they're going to get their manifestation so if you give up you're not going to get your manifestation because you give up you give up on your dream you give up on your desire and i know that you can't give up on your dream and desire that's like totally different case but some people get too exhausted and they give up and yes sometimes the coaches do tell you to give up because when you're too tired you're exhausted it's not helping you everything you're doing is actually creating opposite results and you're not in a good mood then they tell you to give up on your manifestation let it go so at that time you can use the power of the light feminine energy to let it go more calm more relaxed more peaceful taking care of yourself more following your fun actually following your joy happiness at that time you can use the power of the subconscious mind you can use the power of light feminine energy but sometimes you got to persist even when you're feeling negative i feel like when i feel more negative i feel the opposite things are happening i use my dark feminine energy because i actually transmute that negative energy into the energy that i could use to manifest what i want to persist in that that's what i do and that's why i thought that these two energies are really crucial to manifest and you can use the combination because everybody has these energies so you can use you can choose to decide which energy you want to be in and you can use that energy in your favor to get what you want so hopefully all this is making sense to you how you could use it let me know comment down in the comment section below have you ever used all these energies or both these energies in your favor share your experience thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you the next time till then take care bye guys